Hey everybody, welcome to Oddpod, I'm Dan, and this episode I have a special guest, which is my good friend Stee. Say hello. Hello. Who is this guy? Oh, this is Stee. Uh, he's going to be our guest today. Oh yeah. I don't like him. Oh, okay, and um, I should go then. No, 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 he's been stupid. Let's ignore him. Start again. Uh, Murray? Shh, please. Uh, yeah, so if you don't know Stee, he's from the podcast, he does Stee's Segment. Um, we haven't actually give it a proper name yet, have we? No, it's still Steve Steve Segment. Steve Segment. <laughs> and you do Batman Karaoke, which is a lot Yes, of I do. <laughs> uh, I like Batman Karaoke. It's not the karaoke you deserve. I think it's gonna... the karaoke you need. <laughs> I think we're going to get sued one day for this um, <laughs> Batman Karaoke thing. We've got Batman, the copyright, and we've got the actual songs you do copyright. It's not very good. But, um, no, yeah, so he's from the podcast, and he's actually appearing today on the YouTube this is actually, I think this is actually my first YouTube appearance ever. Really? Yeah, it's my debut. Wow. Wow, my premiere. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you the day Stephen Lawson first appeared on YouTube? <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be a great show, really fun. Yeah. Um, very first guest, hopefully lots more appearances in the future. Definitely. And so let's get on with it. Let's do our first thing. Okay, so the toy review of this episode is Book Your Hair. Do you remember these? Um, Ace toys, I used to play with these loads when I was a kid. I uh, didn't have everything, but I, I definitely had good old Bucky. See him there, with his lovely gun. And I don't think yeah, I had dead any eye I definitely had Dead Eye when I was a kid. I don't think I had that many more though. I'm sure I had... Um, like Echo Crocus. I think so, yeah. I had them. Oh, the yeah. They're very good. They're very well sculpted figures, though. That's what yeah. I like about them. Very detailed. In like a the floppy cape. Yeah. Bucky. And the fact that you can turn his ears around as well. <laughs> yeah, that's well cool. Which is cool. He's quite grumpy. I actually did have a lot of these when I was a kid. Hmm. Um, I had all the ones that you have here. Yeah. Um, I had. I had, I had, I had, I, no, sorry, I had the whole of season of series one, should I say, hmm. of in terms of figures. Um, <clears throat> I, I did have. I only had the one vehicle, which was the tow croaker. Oh yeah. I got yeah. that off uh, my friend's mum bought me that from one of my birthdays. I always loved it though because it was quite cool because it actually had like um, a mallet thing, and when you actually like put it down, it made like a croaking noise. Nice. <laughs> yes. Don't um, think I ever had that. Yeah, that was the only thing that I had in terms of vehicles. But yeah, I did have all these ones. I hmm. had a couple more villains. Um, what were villains were they? There was like a cyborg, like a really tall cyborg, very skinny cyborg. Um, hmm. He had like three fingers. And then there was also the alligator as well. I like remember a, the alligator. He was a purple alligator. I mean, it, it tends to be a quite... A, if you actually even oh, he was like a bounty hunter one. Yeah, he was, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, I do remember now, yeah. Um, it's quite actually quite funny about these characters that if you actually look like the, the, a lot of the characters share the same sort of colour like the goodies are all quite bright coloured yeah, yeah. so all the villains seem to be sort of purple dark mm, blues dark greens, yeah and greens so it was quite you know um, but yeah there was these ones and there was a, there was meant to be a series too but unfortunately because of this guy here this guy <laughs> um, they overproduced him and what happened was that um, Basically, when I, when a toy shop ordered Bucky O'Hare figures, they'd send maybe you no know, five, but maybe ten Bucky O'Hares and five Dead Eyes, but then like fifty of the Toads. So then eventually, so toy stores would end up running out of the good figures, leaving him on the shelf, trying to get rid of the stock, but no one was buying him because he was a shit figure, really. <laughs> you know, um, or a rubbish figure. Don't want to really swear because <laughs> right, he was a rubbish figure. Um, so eventually, it just it, people stopped the, the shop stopped ordering because it, even though even when they were ordering more of these figures, they were sending even more of him. Yeah. Um. So eventually, um, they just people weren't ordering, so they they cancelled series two, which included Jenna, who was the only sort of lead character who they didn't do in series one, and it also meant that the ship wasn't made either. So weird about the ship thing, because I was so sure that when I was a kid, one of my friends had the ship. I don't know why. It was Maybe the orange did. one, wasn't it? The big orange yeah, ship. Yeah, the big orange ship, yeah. It must have been from a different toy line or something. But he used to use these Bucky figures with um with a different ship. It kind of had like a bubble thing on it, but 
mustn't have been Bucky then if they never released mm-hmm. the shape. I don't know what it was. I, d- I, d- I, d- I believe they didn't release it. No, they went. To, they were very close to, and they had a few more figures and a few more characters they were going to release, um, but they never did. Because I said it. Shame that that ship would have been ace. Yeah. But um, I used to use a shoebox with my um, my Bucky figures. It was ace. I used to do it quite a lot of times. You get like a shoebox. Yeah. Take the actual lid off, then you open one side of it, flap that down for floor, then you draw in your computer panels all the way around <laughs> and that. Did that for Bucky, and I think I did it for Ninja Turtles as well. I tried making um, a Ninja Turtles base using a shoe box and other boxes. You see it on Blue Peter, and they make it look yeah. really <laughs> easy. But yeah, I did have um, a lot. Of, I did have all of Series 1 on figures. Yeah, I'm not sure if I had. I definitely had Bucky when I was a kid because I remember playing with loads, and I definitely had Dead Eye Duck. Yeah. But I'm not sure about the others, because I do, I do remember having more of them, but I don't know which ones I had. I might have had a croaker. Yeah. But I don't I don't think I had this guy. I can't remember what his name is now. I can't remember what his name is. I know he's the captain. I yeah, he's a captain it. something. And I didn't have um, Willy do it. Oh. He's just a strange little toy. I don't think I'd liked him. No. <laughs> he was quite alright when he had his mask on. I think he's just his creepy little face. <laughs> and then he had glasses as well, because he's got his little holes in the side of his head where his glasses went on. Ah, okay. I never noticed that. I'm not sure I noticed these things. Ah, that's cool. So, um, yeah, so the cartoon was good as well. Oh, I love the that. cartoon. It was amazing. Used to watch it all the time. The weird thing is, though, because it was on BBC, wasn't it? Yeah. I never really watched BBC. I was always a CITV person, but I remember watching it loads, so I don't know what I saw it on, unless I did just see it on BBC. Yeah. That's, that's Sky, good. though. I don't know if it was on Sky or something. It might have been. But um, no, I used to watch the uh, the cartoon loads. I've got the full collection on DVD now, which I still haven't watched properly. I've had it for a few years now. Damn. But um, it's ace. But yeah, I love this Bucky figure. Look how cool he is. <laughs> it's proper he is ace. very cool. Do you know the re- they're, apparently they're remaking Bucky? Are they? Either into a movie or another cartoon series like they did with mm. Thundercats. We just think that they might release the ship at last. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> that would be ace. Because oh, I won't really, the cartoon might be good, but imagine the ship. Gonna, I was just going to throw them in the air. Like, <laughs> pictures of them coming down. I'm like, ah! <laughs> but imagine amazing. after all these years, the ship came out again. Yeah. You get your old Bucky figures in it. That'd be ace. Definitely. Love them. So yeah. We do. Bucky figures. Good old Bucky O'Hare. Just missing the ship. Yeah. Was there any other vehicles they were missing? Um, no, oh, I think there was a couple more that we were going to do, um, but the only two that were released were the Toad Croaker and the Toad Bubble. Because there was never play sets either, was there? Like big no, places? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's a shame. So it's literally just the figures that were out. That's it, really. Cut down in its prime. Yeah. Ah, but yeah, unfortunately. But still, the figures that were released are cool, so yeah, that's are. good. Let's show them off again. So, there we go. There's these three. Show your three off. And that's them three. I think Dead Eye was my favourite. Yeah, he's he was one of the cool characters other than Bucky. He's kinda of like a hand solo of um, Bucky O'Hare to me, I don't know why. A blind forehand duck version of Han Solo, but yeah, <laughs> Han Solo nonetheless. He is ace. He is. Oh, yeah. So that was Bucky O'Hare, Ace Cartoon and Ace Toyline. Very ace. Yeah. You didn't have those toys. You're a liar. You what do you mean a liar? I, why, why would I lie? I did have all of these and more when I was a kid. Yeah, okay. Liar. Right, time for the game review. And um, this episode's game review is Pokemon Stadium 2 for the N64. Do you hold up your game? That's the Japanese <laughs> version. It's a bit bright. <laughs> it's reflecting on the We're not actually playing the Japanese version now, so yeah. But there's the level. Um, released in October 2001. I think this was actually one of the last games released for N64 on its way out. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But Shake the back as well. Lovely and colourful. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant game. I love my Pokemon. No as, resale. As you know. No resale. No resale. But um, yeah, great game. And we're going to play it and have lots of fun. Yeah. So, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I bet you're wondering why Steve's holding Star Wars The Phantom Menace for PS1 up. That's because Pokemon Stadium 2 isn't going to be reviewed, because my Nintendo 64 is... I don't know what it is. It's not dead. The power pack is dead, I think. Dead. So it's dead. I think. We've tried another fuse. We've tried 
Another Nintendo 64. Another Nintendo 64, and it's not working, so we are going to review, because it's, you know, May the 4th. Obviously, it's not going to be May the 4th when you're watching this, but it is May the 4th right now. So, May the 4th, May the 4th, we'll review Star Wars Episode 1 for the PlayStation 1, which is well, it's not the best game in the world, but... <laughs> um, no, it's not, but, I mean, it was a game that I played as um, in my younger days. That's a game I watched released. you play in your younger days. So. Yes, it yeah. was, yes, it was. Um, and I did enjoy it back, there, back, in, back in the day. Hmm. Um, which was a Tuesday, by the way. Um, so, yeah, we thought we'd give it a try. Yeah, so, sorry, no Pokemon Stadium 2 today, but that will be the future. And, so, yeah, Star Wars Episode 1. Everybody's favourite <laughs> from the Star Wars <laughs> one library. Of the most famous Star best, best uh, Star Wars film ever. Never met one person who said they didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, with, I mean, Jar Jar Binks a brilliant character, oh, and all that brilliant. Senate talk and politics, yeah. oh... Brilliant. <laughs> How do you want to miss that? No. I, mean, I mean, the only boring parts of it are the lightsaber parts. Oh, I can't and, stand them. Yeah. Terrible. <sighs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> We're not reviewing those parts. We're no. going to review. It's a shame they didn't actually do the Phantom Menace Senate Edition, where you just <laughs> spent all the time in the Senate. Like a ribbon based game, every time someone happens, you press, press circle to say <laughs> no to that, <laughs> to object to that. Object, object! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace. Oh, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> so there we go. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Looks alright that though. Yeah, FMV video. Hmm, not that bad. That's what they were saying about uh, when I was reading the thing, they were saying like um, they could get a lot more on um, the PlayStation disc than you could do on an N64 cartridge. Yeah. So even though the graphics on this might not be better, they could get more they could get better audio and better yeah, cutscenes yeah. on a mm. on a CD. When the Trade Federation Viceroy arrives, we must convince him to leave the system. Will they agree to leave? The Viceroys are cowards. This meeting will be short. Still, be prepared for the unexpected. Director might be able to assist. Thank you. For some reason, I know a lot of people hate episode one so much. There's something I quite like about it. I don't know what it is. I think it's all the you know because it's on. Um... Come on, it's bloody cool. Tatooine. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just because of all the sand, how colourful it makes it look, and how bright it makes it look. And there's something nice about, it, especially the pod race. Yeah. Something about it I quite liked, but um, a lot of people hate episode one so much. I'm not. I think I it's think mostly Jar Jar. <laughs> it's that and the whole politics thing. It's just like that is quite before boring. that, it's just like oh god. Yeah. I mean, because before that, it was like Star Wars was just about blowing stuff up, and now it's all about politics and, and trade Senate. routes and yeah. senates and. Yeah, it's quite boring, but I do yeah. quite like just the um, the look of episode one, not mm. necessarily the actual story, but like the, the aesthetics. Sort of yeah, it, it's quite nice looking, especially the, when it, the pod race is happening and everything. I yeah. quite like the, how bright and nice it is. Have you ever played the um, the fighting game? Come along, Anakin. Which one? Destiny that masses of the the beat em up. Oh god, go on. ages ago. I rented it from Blockbusters. Like whenever it came out, I rented it straight away, and it was all right. It wasn't. It's really great, really slow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want him to remain a slave forever. <laughs> it's very funny that day, because it's the first time I ever used Blockbusters, and for some reason I rated that game, and I rated Spice World the game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Don't ask me why I rented that. Why did you rent that? I I, I don't know. <laughs> I just saw it and thought, go on then. Because I could rent two games, and I couldn't see any of us I wanted to. Well, for some reason I decided to rent a Spice Girls game. <laughs> and it was terrible. As you would imagine, sir. So. Yeah. Hey, mister, can I have some food? Yes, I can. Here, take this. Hey, I thought you said you had some food for me. Where is it? I was wrong. I don't have any food for you. Sorry. Yeah, that's what they all say. Did you buy this game when it came out? Yes. How much was it? Price of a game like that. 40 or 50 quid. You bought it for 40 or 50 quid? 
don't know. I can't How did you afford that? How old are you? You're about 15. I would have got 2000 when this came out. Oh, what year did this come out, actually? It um, must have been about 2000, wasn't it? Or Less than that, because what's it came out in 90? It would have come out in 1999. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. We were still in school when episode one came out. So you're about 14, then. I would have got a month to buy it. One of my favourite levels was the Moss Asper level, where you were, where you were quite on gin and you had to, like, obviously, free Anakin Skywalker sort of thing. Mm. Um, but you didn't just... You couldn't just free him. You had to go and like, get different parts and do little things with different people to get different parts of the pod racer so Anakin could build his pod. You don't even do any pod racing in this, do you? No, you just watch it. It's silly, isn't it? You should, well, you that, should have a, a little bit, at least, just one level of a race level coming yeah, in. Yeah, I think it was just due to the limitations, because they wanted it on yeah. the PS1. And I, see, I think it was released in the Dreamcast as well as a PC. I can't remember. Where is Cyrus? Cyrus the race are being held through that door. Don't break you his heart. He's achy, break your heart. <laughs> <laughs> the prisoners are heavily guarded. You'll be killed if you go through that door. We must find a way to save them. So, I guess these levels are probably the worst levels in the game. You really just want to have a lightsaber and use the force. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just shoot a gun. That's that's why I like Jedi power battles. Because Jedi power battles was just like was just pure Jedi. That's yeah. all you were. Well, proper Star through. Wars, really. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, this, there is some good game. I mean, like for example, Dark Forces. And I suppose anyway, Jedi Knight Two. You end up most of the game in Jedi Knight Two. Hmm. You. Oh, Dark Forces 2, sorry, Jedi Knight. You are just got a gun and you do just have a gun. Yeah. But it does sort of balance out. Um, whereas with... <coughs> then there's another game, Republic Commando. I don't think you've ever played that one. No, no. It's on the Xbox and PC. It's really good because it's, it's not like all the other Clone Wars. Orders, your Highness. It's really dark and gritty hmm. and you won the clones. You're like, well, obviously you're... Um, you're a clone, yeah, and you're um, like part of a special team. Queen Amidala, you saved us. All right, I need all the pass keys you're hiding. Here's the white key. <clears throat> Do you mind? That's much playing. Star Wars, Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Not very good, are you? I'm gonna ignore that comment. Go that way. I'm not. See, you see, you can hear me do that. I've fallen down now because of you. No, 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 that was you, definitely. Turn, turn that way. <laughs> kill, kill that one. I, I, I've completed this game. No, no, I've completed the, uh, this game. No, I completed, I completed this game before you were even stitched together, mate. You're a liar, m mate. No, 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 that way. No, 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 no. Terrible. <sighs> Me needed it to die pretty quick down here. Oh. Who's that? It's Queen Amidala. I don't like her. I don't think she likes you either. Shoot! Shoot! Quick! Shoot! Shoot! Right. Shoot that one! Right, you're pecking the head now. You're terrible. I'm sorry. Let's play a different game. I'm gonna go to my special place now. My garden of zen, because you are pecking my head, and if you don't stop, I am going to choke you to death. Okay. Wait, wait! I can, I can do this bit. I know this bit. You, you, you get, you get, you get the um. Let's see. Ah, ah. You, you haven't got the right controller. It's the wrong controller. It's the wrong shape. But like, if you go that way, then oh, you, see, you pop me off. You pop me off. Then I, I died. Yeah. That was your fault. Right, time for Oddlicious now, and on this Oddlicious we are talking about Wambars. Oh, mine's flopping over. <laughs> there you go, it's gone. Uh, <laughs> mine's got a bit more um, in it. <laughs> yeah, Wambars. Do you remember these? Um, still some now, obviously, but um, I don't know if they've changed at all. I don't think even the packaging's changed that much. They were, of course, kind of like um, rockets and stuff, wasn't it? Mm. They were all like an explosion, at least. Yeah. But I'm sure these were 10p when I was... Um, when I was a kid, I don't know how much they are now. I think they're around 20p now. 20p each. Due to um, inflation. Were they bigger than this? Because of the Tories. <laughs> um, I think there was... I think there was smaller sizes 
I think. You can I know you could get like the mini ones, couldn't you? Yeah. But were, were these the traditional size, or were yeah, they? I think I think they were about this size. We were smaller. I've got to say, because they're smaller. <laughs> the original one has always been raspberry, though, isn't it? The yeah, you could get these, or you could get refresher bars. Yeah, I remember refresher bars. Yeah. Have they always been fizzy as well? So super fizz. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. I can't remember. I just remember being fruity kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, so I haven't had one of these for ages. I don't know the last time I had a uh, Wamba, so might as well try them now. Well, a little story of my um, oh, fiance, she was um, craving these when cause she's pregnant with my, with my little boy, and she was craving these, and now, and I bought some of these just a couple of weeks ago, and now she can't stand the sight of them. She actually feels physically sick if she <laughs> looks, just looking at the packet. Made her want to be sick. But I don't think it's got anything to do with actual lamp. No, no, I think mean, it's just because now she had so many when she was early on in her pregnancy yeah. that she's sort of like, right. So you know, the only thing horrible about them is when they get like this, like floppy, <coughs> they're horrible to open because they just stick to the side. Like, I can't open that side. <laughs> Let's try this. Look. Yeah. It looks ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, dear. I didn't know oh. that. Oh. I got a little. There we go. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I'm getting mad about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they've got little green fizzy yeah, bits. Things. I don't know if you can see that there. I don't know if they had it on the old ones, I'm not sure. They're horrible to bite in. There we go. Mm. <laughs> very, very sweet. Mm. Very chewy. It tastes a bit different than I remember. Mm. That is actually just green stuff and not mould. <laughs> it's not mould. <laughs> It's the fizz, I think. <laughs> oh, it'll be horrible to it, it's not. <laughs> Maybe they're in my bag a bit too long. Mm. I've had them in my bag for like two days. <laughs> and that got very hot. They do taste a bit different there, I remember. What I used to do, I used to get one bar, then just roll it all the way up and shove the whole thing in my mouth. I'm not doing that now. I'll try a bit more. Mm. Very sweet. I got a very sherbet-y part there. I just have it. Oh, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> they are a lot different, I remember. I don't um, think these are very good ones. Maybe that fizz thing is a new thing. I don't remember that. But yeah. Wambas. Wambas. <laughs> that was a really sweet version. Mm. So yeah, so the green stuff is really sweet, fizzy. Not like it's not like the crackly stuff though, is it? It's like sherbet. It's like gone off sherbet. It is, yeah. Not as nice as I remember. It's all right though. It's not I actually, really think they've gone off. <laughs> they haven't gone off. What's even the date on them? December twenty thirteen. All right. It looks like leprous. It looks like it's got leprous in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Wambas. They have changed a bit, I think. <laughs> Tongue tingling tuba. Oh. So, yeah, that was Wambas for our delicious, very floppy things. I finished all mine. Yeah, it all. They're really sweet. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Really sour. <laughs> yeah. They're really sour, but my mouth's watering because of the sourness. <laughs> Good old <laughs> Wambas. Well, that was Wambas for our delicious <laughs> lovely. <laughs>
them. Um, enjoying the new format, looking forward to the more. Will you be putting the audio file with the audio podcast or, as well, or is this being separate? That's actually quite a good point. It is a good idea. Both of those are a good, good idea. The very good ideas. doubles and the podcast on the YouTube is definitely going to be something I'm going to think about. However, the judge of characters... Mm, a bit, <laughs> mm, poor Murray. Poor Murray. No, not poor Murray at all. <laughs> you don't, don't take your side. I've, I've been there since, like, year seven. I've got to live with him. <laughs> True. Right. Well, anyway. that was that was Murray's mail. Sorry, Murray. <laughs> Time for future nostalgia now, and on this future nostalgia, we're going to be talking about modern Lego. So, um, you seem to have a bit of a thing about modern Lego. So, well, it's not necessarily something that I dislike. I mean, for example, you know, Star Wars Lego. I mean, if I remember when I was a kid. Lego was more stuff like this, you know, it was a car or it was a race car, it was yeah, a police yeah. car. Or just simple blocks. Yeah, it was just yeah. blocks and, and the whole point was that they gave you something but then they gave you the parts to make something else. Now I'm not saying you can't do that with modern day Lego, mm. but it just seems that there's a lot more themed, like there's Marvel, there's DC, there's um, Star Wars, there's... Um, Harry Potter, there's Lord of the Rings. It's everything. <laughs> yeah, there's everything. And don't get me wrong, the, the, when, when you see the stuff, it is quality stuff. Yeah, it's nice. But I just think it's... There's less it's, imagination in it, basically. Yeah. You can't really... Because back then, when you had all the Lego bricks, you could build something, you have to really think about what you were building. So you want to yeah. build something Star Wars, you'd literally have to look at a picture and try and build it. Rather build than it just, here's a Millennium Falcon, here, build it, here, have to build it, yeah. kind of thing. Don't get me wrong, I'm not... I mean, it, it's, it's... I mean... When when I was younger, we didn't really have a lot of that. Hmm. I mean, Lego Star Wars started to come in as I was in my late teens, but by then I'd sort of grown out of Lego a bit. And I suppose that's why it's very different. I mean, like I said, even though we both grow up with Lego, hmm. so people might be thinking, oh, but this is more like the franchise Lego now that kids nowadays, or even young young adults nowadays, will grow up with. They yeah. would want, that's what they'll remember. Well, they even got the games and everything. I don't remember well, yeah. Lego games, did we? Wow. Well, I don't remember any Lego games when I was kids. There was a couple, actually. I do remember a couple, but they weren't... Like, popular, they weren't yeah, exactly, yeah. And they weren't on things that we... They weren't themed. Basically. Yeah, they weren't yeah, themed. Yeah. They were their own Lego games in their own Lego universe. Yeah. So I think that's the thing between... difference between our generation of Lego, because it, it was quite literally... You had a big box of bricks and you built whatever you wanted. Hmm. Whereas now you get a big box of bricks and it's to build a special thing. It's been a certain thing. You can't yeah. build anything else with it other than well, no. what it was. Coming yeah, from. I mean, you couldn't imagine using. I mean, you wouldn't want to spend seventy, eighty pound on a Millennium Falcon Lego and then just throw build the, the pieces, hell out of it. Or yeah, and then throw all the pieces into something else. You yeah. know, in, into a box of mix and matches because then you, you, want, you want to build it again. Hmm. But I mean, again, I'm, you know, the quality is very good. And no, it's, it's Lego, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? Lego. It's, it's a great little thing. I mean, like I say, when you go to the Lego shop in Manchester and you see all of these, all the sets set up, hmm. it's really nice to look at. But you're thinking, I would have not mind building my own instead. I mean, yeah. like I said, we had castles and stuff like that, but it was generic yeah, stuff. Yeah. It wasn't long. Something of you, the could ch you could change a little bit, kind yeah. of thing, if you wanted to. But these ones are set for that bit, set for that yeah. bit. That's, yeah, that kind of thing. So it's very future nostalgia for kids now, the modern Lego, but. Yeah. Yeah, Very I do like thing. it, but like you said, yeah, it's, it's different from what we have. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's going to be nostalgic in the future rather than you know, even though people might think Lego is nostalgic now. Can you even still get the just basic bricks? I think you can. Oh, you said something about pick and mix, is that the same the, thing? In, in Manchester, well, they do have this general like Lego City sort of stuff, yeah. and then they, in, I said, in the story in Manchester again, they've got like a massive pick and mix thing where you can like they've and got they're literally just the generic every bricks, are they? they're just generic bricks. Oh, that's good. And you get everything from like the small bricks, the big bricks, to the long bricks. Mm. So even those like to all different shapes and sizes. They're probably not as popular now though, because who would pick a generic brick over like a Star Wars yeah. pack or something like that? Well, yeah, but I mean, like I said I probably would. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I yeah, think, I think I've still got a big tub of it actually. I mean, then there's like a really big toy box of it, which is throw it on the floor and build stuff. I haven't used Lego for years and years and years, so. Yeah. But yeah, definitely future nostalgia, all the Lego, modern Lego stuff now, so it's good, but it's bad at the same time, kind of. Yeah. I do like it though. It's very different from what, like I say, it's different from when we were kids. Yeah, but it's still Lego. Yeah, it's still it's Lego. Still, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that was future nostalgia, modern Lego. Brilliant.
Right, now it's time for temporary blindness, and this is the part I end every episode by opening some blind bags. And because I've got the guest here, and it's May the 4th, well, when we're recording this, it's May the 4th. So, we've done a Star Wars game, so we thought we'd open some Star Wars blind bags. So we've got the, what are these ones called? Oh, that's Fighter cool. Pods. So, these look pretty cool. And we've got the Star Wars Angry Birds. Which also, look, they look quite good, and they're kind of chunky inside Little them. Little keychains, aren't they? Yeah. So, should we open the Angry Birds Star Wars first then? Let's do that. Okay. Let me do yours I'm first. quite excited for these now. <laughs> right, I'll open this one. Nice and easy to open. <laughs> I just noticed by the thing. <laughs> that is brilliant. There we go. Got a Princess Leia. Um, I don't know what the Pink Bird does actually. I've never played the Star Wars. No, um, I've not Angry played Birds. the Star Wars one. So I don't know what that one does. Oh, we get stickers. Stickers is pretty good as well. Nice pack of stickers. Have I've you got, got the. Uh, the Luke Skywalker one, the red Luke. bird. Nice. So how many are there to collect? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got Princess Leia bird. And they're nice little cubies, you know, they're kind of solid, not really solid, but nice make. Well, they're, yeah, they're not, not hollow, are they? So. No, they're, they're quite nice, they're quite, quite nice build. Um, the other ones you can get is Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I really want the Darth Vader pig. <laughs> Darth Vader pig. Stormtrooper pig as well. The Death Star pig. That's really an, an R2-D2 egg. And Wedge Antilles. Wedge Antilles. There you go. So there's the others you can get. Is there a rarity on them? Or? It doesn't show, no. I don't think any of them are rare particularly. I'm not sure. But let's show them up again. Because they're, they're kind of cool, aren't they? A bit of trivia there. The... Um... Uh, actor who played Wedge Antilles was actually um, Hugh McGregor's uncle. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and when he actually applied for the part, um, George, the casting people asked him, you know, why have you applied for this part? He goes, my uncle was Wedge Antilles. And they went, that's a pretty <laughs> good reason to. It's <laughs> pretty cool. And did you get stickers with yours? I did. I got a Stormtrooper. I got these on nice, aren't oh, I got Nice stickers. So it's quite a nice addition as well, just getting yeah. a few stickers as well. And you get a little booklet, so... I am... Um, Quite impressed with these actually. I thought they didn't think they'd be this good, but quite nice. Where'd you get these ones from? Asda. Asda. Okay. So how much were they? About one ninety nine. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Quite nice. And there's loads of them because I think they're trying to get rid of them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad we. I'm glad yeah, we got different nice. ones. Yeah, that's good. But um, no, I'm quite impressed with that. That's quite nice. Yeah. Oh, two thousand nine. Does it say that? Or two, I don't know. But um, no, it's quite nice. That nice little thing. Yeah. Okay. So um, right. So should we go straight on to the Star Wars fighter pods? Yeah. These look quite cool actually. From uh, how many can you get? One, two, three. five different ones then. Yeah. This is series three. Also, oh, there's a rarity thing as well. So three and twenty. Is that what it means? Three and twenty-nine chance. Three and thirty. Three and thirty-one. Three no and thirty-two. Idea. Three and thirty-three chance. I think that's what it means. Might do. Might rarity. I'll let you open your one first. Okay. Right. Okay. So my one. So you get one figure and one pod. Right, well, the chunk of it is the actual pod. Yeah. Which I don't actually know. The, the it's like a there Death is, Star or something? It or is. It? It's like a Death Star. No, it's a Star Wars. No, what is that? <laughs> generic thing with Star Wars engraved on it. Oh, okay. Um, so it is some sort of game. Um, oh, do you reckon that's what it is? It's a game? Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, battle game. That's what it's called, yeah? Yeah. Oh, um, Ooh, it's like a squinky. It's kind of um, tiny, isn't it? He is. He's very tiny. Have you seen Squinkies? No. The really squishy, tiny little collectible things, kind of like that. Well, it's none of the ones that are on here because... Isn't it? Nope. That's... He's just a generic little guy. But if it's not on the back... However, <laughs> he does have a very good pawn tash. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Is there a booklet or anything inside? Let's have a look. Nope. I know there'll be instructions on how to play the game. Yeah. Um, There's no like guide on Fragile! There. Attention! Fragile! There's um, one showing the characters on the back and then you get one that's not even in it. Key code, we've got a key code or something. Oh, is it online or something? Yeah, and battle online, so. Ah, okay. Imagine it's some sort of game. So you just can... got generic moustache going, right? I'll open mine then, see what I get. I hope I don't get generic moustache going now. So, here we go. So, you got the normal little pod thing, I guess. And, oh god, everything's fallen out. Let's see who got. And who the hell is that? Oh, that's, I think her name is Aurora Singh. She was a um, character who was in episode one for like five seconds. Not even five seconds, it was during a pod race and she ended up becoming like a fan favourite. A bit like, um, hmm. well, a bit like Boba Fett in a way. Because yeah. she was a bounty hunter. And she got her own okay. comic book series and some stuff like that. Ah, okay. 
Um, trying to get her in focus, I can't really. I'm trying to do the Ashens trick and put him <laughs> in, but it's not really working. Yes, we are very big Ashens fans. <laughs> we should maybe tag him in a thing and say, we are big fans of yours. <laughs> Plug us, please. That's, yeah. that's not bad. So do you stick him on the top here then? I have absolutely no I, I assume so. You so. plug him. Ah, there you go. You plug it at the top there and presumably, I don't know, do you spin you them? <laughs> right. It's got a little bottom like a top spinner. Like yeah. you, you might spin them, they bash into each other or something. And we've got nowhere to do it on unless you do on this. <laughs> but yeah, you get a little code and I, I don't really know anything about them but I don't know, they, they seem alright. Yeah. The quality is not great, but they are small, so they're probably hard to make anyway. Yeah. She's supposed to have a little lump on her head either. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea where that is. But, um, yeah. yeah. There they are anyway. I'm not. <coughs> there you go, that's, that's how you play. <laughs> well, I'm not massively impressed with them, but they're alright. They're not terrible, but I, I don't. There's something I don't like about tiny figures, because you can't yeah. get good detail in them or anything. I'm going to be honest, I actually thought mm. these were going to be more disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah. I actually had, I thought all oh, these are going to be really rubbish and they're like plush little things. They're quite good, these. And I was actually having high hopes on these. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm severely crushed <laughs> by like, like Darth Vader's crushed my windpipe. <laughs> and I'm actually really impressed with these. And I do quite like Even them. though I am going to give this to Dan. Because it's part of his collection, I don't really collect stuff. I'm actually gutted to let this thing go because I actually do like it. It's it quite cool. cool. Isn't it? Yeah, cool. But these, I don't know. Maybe the game's fun. I don't know. We can research it later or something. But I don't think it's going to be that fun. The game. I reckon you got to spin them. On, yeah, and like Beyblade or something. I don't know. God, yeah, Beyblade, but with <laughs> see-through disco balls and yeah, a guy cool. with a pawn tash. Yeah, so they're all right. But I, I'm sticking with the um, the Angry Birds Star Wars. I think they're quite cool. Definitely, I do like them. Oh, Arr, wait! Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't it. We're related. <laughs> uh, well, that was temporary blindness. That's quite a good one. Huh? I really enjoyed it. It was very good. So yeah, that makes it the end of the show really as well. It is. Mm. Um, yeah. So I should um, I should be saying goodbye and leaving um, you, you all with Dan on his next on his next episode all by himself. Yeah, and every so often you're gonna pop in for random odd deliciouses and random um, blind bag openings and stuff like that, so yeah. that'd be really good. Okay. And hopefully we'll have you for a full episode as well in the future. Definitely. Yeah, so really hope you enjoyed the episode and look out for the next episodes. I'm gonna try and record them all the time if I can, <laughs> if I get time. They're gonna be quite regular. And please subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And if you don't, Steve's going to come to your house and touch you inappropriately or something. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, he's not going to be happy if you don't subscribe. Point on the snubble where Stephen touched you. <laughs> your eyeball. <laughs> no. Snubble. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so subscribe. Really appreciate that. And I really hope you enjoyed the episode. And stay tuned for the links at the end of the show if you want to check out the website and Facebook and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And yeah, so see you soon. See ya. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Um, just wanted to say, you're all right. You're all right too, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for giving you a hard time. It's all right. I understand it's your show, isn't it? It's you and Dan's show. No, it it's my show. Okay, definitely. It's, it's your show. Yeah. And I, I'm sorry for snatching the letters off you before. Ah, don't worry about it. Um, okay. yeah, I'll do a great show next time. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say, you're great. Yeah, you're too, buddy. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Hey, before you go, should we get a photo together? Oh, sure. Great. <laughs> great. <laughs> All right. I'll see you around. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, give me, give me five. Yay! <laughs> Bye! Bye! If you want to keep in touch with OddPod, then please visit facebook.com slash oddpodshow, uh, www.turnyouweird.com, and twitter.com slash oddpodretro. I really hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bum 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 b